frilled dragon, also known as Chlamydosaurus kingi, have a large disc of skin that sits around their head and neck. This frill can erect in a spectacular fashion to scare off predators and competitors. Folding on each side of the frill occurs at three preformed ridges, but it remains unclear which ancestral structure evolved to become the dragon's frill and how the ridges in the frill form during development. Now, the Milinkovic lab shows that the dragon's frill as well as the bone and cartilage that support it, developed from a part of the embryo known as the branchial arches. These are a series of bands of tissue in the embryo that evolved to become the gill supports in fish and that now give rise to many structures in the ear and neck of land vertebrates. In many species, the second branchial arch will eventually fuse with the arches behind it, but in the frilled dragon, this arch instead continues to expand, leading to the formation of the dragon's spectacular frill. The Swiss team then realized that the much smaller neck folds in some other lizard species develop from the same branchial arch. As the frill develops, it folds, making up the ridges. Milinkovic's team saw that the ridges in the dragon's frill do not emerge from increased growth at the folding sides but from physical forces, whereby the growth of the frill is constrained by its attachment to the neck. This causes the top layer to buckle, creating the folds. The team then simulated growth in a computer model and found it could recapitulate how folds develop in the frills of real embryos. These results provide evidence that physical processes, as well as genetic programs, can shape the structure of tissues and organs during an embryo's development.